It's an AFPU scale. So it's A, V, P, U. So A is they're awake and alert, okay? Essentially, your patient is alert. They're awake. They're oriented. Like me right now, like you right now. I guess we're kind of normal, right? Okay, a little bit. We're EMS, but that's all right. But we're alert and oriented. That's fair? Okay. V is verbal. <laughs> what that means is they only respond to when you call their name or their eyes open. Their eyes open. Mary. Yeah. Uh, right? P is a painful stimulus. So people talk about pinching the ear, a sternal rub, right? Uh, touching the bottom of the foot, whatever it may be. But some sort of painful stimulus, it makes them either open their eyes or now they wake up for a minute, right? If it wasn't for that painful response, they weren't responding to you at all by name. So basically, it's awake and alert. They respond to their name when we say their name, but then they go back to not being really alert. Painful stimulus is the only thing that gets them to even move or withdraw from anything. Unresponsive is they don't respond to their name. They're definitely not awake and alert. And they're not moving or talking to you at all. They're unresponsive. So obviously someone who is, for example, let's say they were a patient who is in a opiate overdose and they're not breathing, they're going to be unresponsive. But if someone's in cardiac arrest, they're going to be unresponsive. Okay? Make sense? If someone has, they were involved in a, a, a motor vehicle accident and they were strained, but they're able to talk to you in full senses and they are aware of their surroundings, where they are, what happened. They're awake and alert. Usually it's the patients at the farther extremes we're going to see. And these, we do see them, but it can be more rare, right? Usually if they're in V or P, they're trending towards U, okay? And just so for some patients, V could be their baseline with like severe dementia or something like that. So find their baseline. Just want to give you a pearl.